Please rise. Please rise and welcome the classes of 2020 and 2021. rise and welcome the classes of 2020 and 2021.
please remain standing for the presentation of the colors and the singing of the national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the Please be seated. Thank you to the Honor Guard of the Marine Corps League, Detachment 688, for presenting the flags, and to Laura Dietrich, a 2020 graduate of Great Falls College MSU, for a beautiful performance of the national anthem. In case of emergency, please use the doors to either side of the room to exit. Before we begin our commencement ceremony, I would ask that we take a moment to remember those who are currently serving our country, our veterans, and our local safety officers. Great Falls College, MSU, acknowledges and honors with respect that our campus resides on the homelands of many indigenous peoples, including the current 12 sovereign nations which reside in Montana today, Assiniboine, Blackfeet, 
Chippewa, Cree, Crow, I knew I was going to mess this one up, Grovant, Northern Cheyenne, Kootenai, Sioux, Little Shell Band of Chippewa, Salish, and Ponderé. We acknowledge the historical displacement of indigenous peoples while also honoring their contributions, continuing today to the history of the United States. Diversity among populations is important, and we respect everyone's history and story. Now, I would like to welcome Dugan Coburn and Helen Carlson, who will lead us in a Native American prayer. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to everyone that's here today. Um, congratulations to the graduates today. Okinapi na tu si, ayastapatapo naganugu sa amatapi. I ask the Creator to hear our prayers today, uh, and that uh, watch over all of us as He comes in and be and is with us today. Ayo istapatapio, kitsik sa matsanok banan, kimugdak kinan. Distanan, Bukaksanan, Espomokinan and Uxistigoi, Gukinan, Bisami Bata Bison, Gi Gamudan. What I had said is, I call on you, Creator, Source of Life. I welcome you and greet you. Give us children compassion, show us compassion. Help us today. Give us a good long life and a blessed, safe life. Thank you. Thank you, Dugan and Helen. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Leanne Frost, and as the Executive Director of Instruction, and Division Director of General Studies at Great Falls College, Montana State University, I have the honor of welcoming you to the commencement of the classes of 2020 and 2021. You can clap. This is a special day for the graduates from both the years of 2020 and 2021. Graduates from the class of 2020, whose commencement was virtual last year due to the COVID-related restrictions, were invited to celebrate with us today. Commencement is the celebration at the college that we treasure the most. Today, as you will hear, we are also able to share the day with students and their families affiliated with Montana State University Billings and, for the first time, Park University, located at Malmstrom Air Force Base. Graduates, I am delighted to welcome you and to recognize this remarkable achievement in your lives. But first, let us recognize the hard work and dedication of the many people who supported you in this process. I would like to introduce some of these people to you now. Let us begin by thanking the following groups and individuals for helping to make this occasion special. Our reader, Dr. Daryl Stevens, General Studies faculty member, our interpreters, Cheryl Lute and Bonnie Jocelyn, Dugan Coburn and Helen Carlson for the Native American Prayer, Ron and Carol Osberg with Osberg Greenhouse in Fairfield, Montana, Tillerus Landscape Nursery, Montana Expo Park for the use of this space, and the Great Falls College MSU's Commencement Committee who worked very hard for this occasion. Thank you all. Of course, it took the entire Great Falls College MSU community to help you reach this moment, and I would like to recognize them now. As I recognize you, will you please stand and remain standing? Please hold your applause until all are recognized. First, the faculty who deliver the learning experiences that culminate in this moment. Without them, this occasion for celebration would not be possible. Next, all of our employees who support our students throughout their academic career here. All please rise and be recognized.
Thank you, be seated. All of these employees had a role in bringing the graduates to their seats of honor this afternoon. They are all committed to providing a quality learning experience in a caring way. On behalf of the college, thank all of you for all that you do. I would also like to welcome special guests we have in the audience. With us today are important community leaders who support the college in significant ways. They volunteer their time and resources to serve on the college's program advisory boards, the CEO Dean's Executive Advisory Council, and the college's development board, donors to the college, local legislators, and colleagues from the Great Falls Public Schools. These individuals help provide resources and guide the direction of the college, its programs, and curricula. They represent the community that we serve. Will you please stand and be recognized? Please join me in thanking our special guests for their support of and service to Great Falls College MSU. I'd like to now introduce our platform guests and ask that each person stand as I call her or his name. Please hold your applause until the last person is introduced. To my left, I present Dr. Susan J. Wolf, CEO Dean of Great Falls College MSU and our commencement speaker, who will be introduced more formally later in the program. Mr. Aaron Frank, 2020-2021 President of Associated Students of Great Falls College MSU. And to my right, Mr. Russell Mutchenbaker, Director, General Studies Division. Mr. Joel Sims, Director, Trades Division. Thank you, you may be seated. Great Falls College MSU is one of eight units of the Montana University System. Like the other seven units, we all fall under the governance of the Montana Board of Regents under the coordination of the Office of the Commissioner of Higher Education. They have the honor and difficulty of wanting to be at all campus commencement ceremonies, but that is not possible. Although the Regents are not here today, they share our excitement and pride in celebrating your accomplishments. It is my pleasure now to call to the podium the Chief Executive Officer and Dean of Great Falls College MSU, Dr. Susan J. Wolf. Good afternoon, everyone. What a pleasure for me to be here. I'm going to take that off so you can hear me better. Um, it is now my distinct honor to share in our graduate celebration as we recognize you the 2020 and 2021 graduating classes of Great Falls College, Montana State University. Today is about you. With 278 graduates, 31 of you are receiving multiple degrees. Signified by the single gold cord, 54 of you are graduating with honors, which means a GPA between 3.5 and 3.749. Signified by the double gold cords, 50 of you are graduating with high honors, a GPA of 3.75 or higher. Please see your program for an explanation of the other cords and regalia. With us today are 77 veterans, their spouses and dependents, and they are graduating with 83 degrees, five of them receiving multiple degrees. And we have nine dual enrollment students. In all, you are receiving 314 certificates and degrees. During this academic year, students at Great Falls College MSU received 322 scholarships, totaling $322,733 from donors to help relieve the cost of achieving your degrees and many of those donors are with us today, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Among you today, we are also welcoming graduates of MSU Billings and Park University who share in this commencement celebration, and we have the high school dual credit students who are receiving their college degrees before they get their high school diplomas. In addition, we have our first graduates with an associate degree in cybersecurity. You all epitomize success. You have earned your degree, 
and have done so in addition to many major responsibilities. I would like to take a few moments now to demonstrate to our audience the true perseverance you have shown to meet your educational goals, complete your credentials, and to have earned the title of graduate. When you hear the following statements, please stand, and this is for our graduating class, please stand and remain standing if they describe you. I am a student who worked full time while completing my degree. Please stand and remain standing. Thank you. I am the first in my family to receive a college degree. Please stand. I raised children while I attended school. And many of these people, while they were going to school and raising their children while their children were home attending school. So that was even more difficult. I served in the armed forces or had a significant other deployed while I have been in school. Please stand. All right. Statistics show that students who work full time, who are first generation students and who are raising children, or have significant life responsibilities are less likely to complete their degrees. Yet you have beaten the odds through your dedication and your fortitude. You have also persevered during a worldwide pandemic that presented challenges in all aspects of your lives. I ask all of the graduates to now stand so everyone can recognize you for your accomplishments. And graduates, you might as well stay standing because I'm going to ask you to join everyone else here in recognizing your family, your friends, your faculty, and all the others who have helped you fulfill this dream. Let's give them great recognition and celebration. Turn around and find your loved ones. I would like to give recognition to our dual enrollment students. Great Falls College MSU was given permission by the Board of Regents and the Office of the Commissioner of Higher Education to work with the Great Falls Public Schools and other Montana high schools to offer dual credit programs. Many of these students are also involved in their high school activities and they also work. Today, nine are receiving their certificates or degrees, again, a month prior to receiving their high school diplomas. Three dual credit, uh, dual enrollment graduates are receiving their two-year associate degree. Now stop and think about that. They have already completed their first two years of their college education before they got their high school diplomas. Will the dual credit students who are with us today please stand and be recognized? And the rest of you can be seated. Sorry about that, I forgot to tell you to sit down. All right, here we go. You may be seated. Earlier today, we had an eagle feather ceremony for our graduating Native American students in honor of their American Indian heritage. The significance of receiving an eagle feather is one of the most powerful honors an indigenous person can receive. It is an indication or a statement saying there have been significant, or that they have attained significant achievement. Will our Native American students who received your eagle feather ceremony to, or in the ceremony today please stand and be recognized. So Great Falls College, yes, please be seated. Great Falls College MSU recognizes excellence for faculty and staff. This year, Kathy Meyer received the CEO Dean's Award for Staff Excellence. Kathy is the Director of Disability Services and Coordinator for the Native American Enrichment Center. This year, Kathy added advising to the list of her services that she provides students with disabilities. Kathy, will you please stand and be recognized? 
He's over there. Wendy Truax received the CEO Dean's Award for Outstanding Adjunct Faculty. In addition to teaching online classes for the college, Wendy was recently instrumental in bringing dual credit opportunities to Fort Benton High School. Her successful push to add the dual credit math classes at Fort Benton is the most recent visible proof of her efforts and desire to serve students well. Thank you, Wendy. I don't, I don't think she was able to join us today. Just wanna make sure, okay. The recipient of the CEO Dean's Award for Teaching Excellence recognizes one of our faculty members who uniquely represents the quality of instruction and focus on students at Great Falls College MSU. Using grant funds, Steve purchased equipment to test an instructional model called HyFlex, in which students have the opportunity to participate in a class in person, synchronously remotely, or asynchronously online. He and his colleagues are now moving the entire computer programming degree to the HyFlex model to increase enrollment and student completion. Steve, please stand and let's recognize him. He just represented all of our students and our college yesterday at a, a computer technology IT um, workshop event in Missoula, and um, I'm very proud for the work that he's doing. So Great Falls College is a special place for our students, employees, and the community. And we also want to recognize Leonard Bates, our respiratory care program director. Now listen to this. He is retiring after 40 years at Great Falls College MSU. Leonard, please, I'm gonna choke up. Please stand up. Okay, I'm gonna get through this, I really am. We are the community's public two-year college. We strive to meet the community's needs by being student-centered and responsive. While emphasizing quality teaching and learning, your graduate graduation today is the culmination of all those efforts. Graduates, this day belongs to you. Those of us who work at the college have the privilege of walking with you on your path to success. You and the community entrust us to use our resources wisely to develop citizens for the nation, for the state and the world. We listen to you and we strive to offer the best educational opportunities that you can have. We develop leaders as well as graduates. And I now have the honor to introduce Mr. Aaron Frank, who is our 2020-2021 president of Associated Students of Great Falls College MSU, and he's gonna pay tribute to the classes. Oh boy, all right, thank you, Dean. Welcome to graduation. All of the classes are done, assignments are turned in, and grades have been given. Today, we can all stop to take a breath free from scholastic stress. Soon it will be time for us to begin our next step. But before we begin our various journeys, let us all take a moment to reflect on our paths thus far. For myself, the journey thus far has been much different than I thought it would be. If you would have told me 10 years ago that I would be here giving this speech, I would have laughed in your face. You see, 19-year-old me didn't think he'd live to make it to 25, much less be giving a speech as a student government president at a graduation. At the time, I was caught up seeing the world as part of the military, and I was not thinking much to the future. Once I got out of the military, 
life became different. It became more difficult. I learned that I had to work towards a future that I wanted. Then, like a ton of bricks, an idea struck me. I should go back to school and chase a different dream. Little did I know that it would be the start of the journey that I share with you all today. This journey has not been without its trials, however. The reality is I am like all of you. I am no model student. In all honesty, I probably have the smallest GPA in, of any student government president in the school's history. <laughs> I have failed assignments and courses. I have suffered setbacks that sometimes seemed to be unending. But like you all, I have made it here. Like all of you, I'm speeding towards my goals, taking each step with as much grace as I can muster, as we all continue to stride forward. The steps we take will bring us higher and higher in our lives, our careers, and with our families. All of our successes, all of our failures, all of the times that we said, I am not done yet, are the things that make us great, the things that make us worthy of days like today. As we move forward in our careers, our continued educations, and our lives, it is important for us to remember that we did it. We have made it this far. We have learned how to turn failure into success, misfortune into strength. From here on, it is our job, no, our responsibility to go farther than we ever thought we could. After all, we've already made it this far. And please, do this fellow struggler a favor. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and remember to love one another. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. It is now my honor to introduce our commencement speaker, Dr. Susan J. Wolf. Dr. Wolf is the CEO Dean of Great Falls College, MSU. She joined the college in July 2012. She received her bachelor's degree from Montana State University and her master's and doctoral degrees from Oregon State University. Prior to joining Great Falls College, Dr. Wolf served as faculty and instructional administrator at two community colleges in Oregon and one in the state of Washington. In 2012, she was recognized with a Phi Theta Kappa Hallmark Award as a distinguished college administrator from the National Phi Theta Kappa Honorary Society for two-year college students. Dr. Wolf also held faculty and administrative positions at Oregon State University and owns her own business as sole proprietor of Wolf Designs. Since arriving in Great Falls, Dr. Wolf has been active in community and state organizations, boards, and committees. She was named the Mike Malone Educator of the Year in 2015 by the Montana Ambassadors. She has been instrumental in building strong relationships with the school district, business and community leaders, and with local, state, and national elected officials. Dr. Wolf has been a student-focused leader and was recognized for that by the graduating class who asked her to speak today. Dr. Wolf is retiring at the end of June after nine years of service to the college. We thank and appreciate her for her service. As a small token of our appreciation, the floral arrangement below is a gift from the executive team to Dr. Wolf. It will be going home with you, Dr. Wolf. It is my privilege to welcome to the podium Dr. Susan J. Wolf. So I'm getting out like a whole bunch of Kleenex just to have it just in case. I'm going to try to hold it together. But Leanne didn't make it easy by telling me about the beautiful floral bouquet. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I, before I start my speech, I also want to thank the special guests um, from the community here, many of whom were on the search committee 
that hired me. And there might have been times in the past where they said, wow, did we make the right decision? But I think they did. I've had a good time. <laughs> so thank you for that. So today I want you to just maybe think about where you're headed after all of this hard work. And the title of my speech is Taking Flight. I am humbled and I'm honored to be your commencement speaker this year as we celebrate each of you in the classes of 2020 and 2021, your families and your friends. You have persevered as mentioned earlier. You have lived through and you've navigated through a life-changing, economic-changing, lifestyle-changing pandemic while earning your degrees. This is extraordinary. The faculty and staff exemplified adaptability while keeping their focus on you and your success. A noted scientist, Charles Darwin, said, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. And as you begin your new chapter, my wish for you are many, but I want you to continue to learn from others, especially those whose lives, experiences, and opinions differ from yours. Practice true listening. Your task is to listen first to understand others and their views. It is not about being right and others being wrong. It's about creating common ground. Continue to build yourself, your families, and your communities. There are many who have challenges, more challenges than you, and there are many organizations with whom you can give your time and resources to ensure that where you live is a community of compassion. Be intentional. Are you energizing others? Are you providing hope? When helping others, you are building your own spirit and that of your community and many, many future generations. Continue to engage with and embrace change. You already heard that's how you will adapt, you will prosper, so be ready and embrace change. You already chose change for yourself by earning a certificate or a degree and some of you will still earn your high school diplomas and others will be continuing their education. And many of you have already started your career. Be the future. Be vulnerable. Be humble. My hope for you is to remember the word fail means first attempt at learning. And effort never dies. No means next opportunity. And yes means you, all of you, energize success. Thank you, classes of 2020 and 2021, for everything you have done, for not losing sight of your dream and your goals. I could not be more proud for this to be the last graduating class of my tenure at Great Falls College, MSU. And as I prefer, prepare for my next chapter, um, just like you are, and rumor has it that I'm going to retire, but there are rumors that other things might be happening in my future. Okay. Um, your accomplishments, your perseverance, and your good spiritedness in tough, tough times has inspired me each day and will continue to do so. And I was going to play a song, but every time I tried to do it, I needed a whole bunch of those. So instead, I'm just going to say the words. It's from a song written way back in 1988 by Bette Midler. The song was Wind Beneath My Wings, and I'm paraphrasing. Did you know that all of you are my sheroes and my heroes? and everything I would like to be. With you, I can fly as high as an eagle. 
I can almost touch the sky. For you, you, all of you, are the wind beneath my wings. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wolf. Graduates of Great Falls College, MSU, MSU Billings, and Park University, now is the moment that you have been waiting for. I would like to call Dr. Wolf back to the podium for the presentation of the candidates for their degrees. That's all right. You can come back. <laughs> Dr. Wolf. Upon recommendation of the faculty and the appropriate academic divisions, I am pleased to present the candidates for the Certificate of Technical Studies, the Certificate of Applied Science, the Associate of Applied Science, the Associate of Science, and the Associate of Arts degrees from the Great Falls College, Montana State University, and candidates receiving their baccalaureate degrees from Montana State University Billings and Park University. The 2020 graduates from Great Falls College MSU who have elected to walk this year will lead, followed by MSU Billings and Park University. Then, 2021 Great Falls College MSU graduates will receive their diplomas in departmental order. For the health of all, the platform party will not be shaking hands with graduates, but we are still applauding you in our hearts. First row, will you please rise and proceed to the platform? Tasha Brianne Bjarko, Associate of Arts, General Education, High Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Hold on a second. I know. Christina, no. The 2020 graduates include the Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Science in Nursing, Certificates, Certificate of Applied Science, and Certificate of Technical Studies in the Divisions of Accounting and Technology, General Education, Health Sciences, and Trades. Tasha Brianne Bjorko, Associate of Arts, General Education, High Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Christina O'Daigle, Certificate of Applied Science, Health Information Coding Specialist. <laughs> Laura Dietrich, Associate of Arts, General Education, High Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Christopher D. Sabatore, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Technology, Network Support, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Charmaine Ingham, Associate of Arts, General Education, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Teresa M. Ground, Associate of Arts, General Education, High Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. 
Timothy M. Lenz, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Technology, Microcomputer Support. Melissa Dawn Newton, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting, Honors. Jennifer Rose Voss, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. Montana State University Billings, Laramie Carmen Palm Smovier, Bachelor of Science, Liberal Studies. Park University, Kimberly Mitchell Blaine, Bachelor of Science, Management, Human Resources, Cum Laude. The 2021 Accounting and Technology graduates include the Associate of Applied Science and Accounting, Computer Information Technology, Areas of Microcomputer Support and Network Support and Security, Computer Programming, and Cybersecurity. Laura R. Boyd, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting, High Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Kiana Nicole Bennett, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting. Mackenzie Chatran, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Marion Demas, Applied, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting. Cherie Lynn Keegan Walkup, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting, Honors. Jay Colas, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Technology, Network Support and Security High Honors. Also, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Technology, Microcomputer Support, High Honors as well. Nathaniel Earl Doyon, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Programming, Honors. The 2021 general education graduates include the Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, and Certificates in General Studies. Daniel Darrell Johnson, Associate of Science, General Education, High Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Sadie Ann Bailey, Associate of Arts, General Education, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Zoe Connor, Certificate, General Studies. Aaron Frank, Associate of Arts, General Education. Stevie Gladow, Associate of Arts, General Education. McKenna Claire Haley, Associate of Arts, General Education, Honors. Brianna Marie Hella, Associate of Arts, General Education, Phi Theta Kappa. Marcy Diane Kilpatrick, Associate of Arts, General Education, High Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Oliver Main, Associate of Arts, General Education, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Barbara Jean Nutter, Associate of Arts, General Education, High Honors, Phi Theta Kappa, Associate of Applied Science Accounting, High Honors. Colson Walker Stensland, Associate of Arts, General Education, High Honors. Dion Stump, Associate of Arts, General Education. Ben Van Deventer, Associate of Arts, General Education, High Honors. Brenda Rose Adams, Associate of Science, General Education. Wow. 
Jamie L. Sandwins, Associate of Science, General Education. Shawnee Smith, Associate of Science, General Education. Zachary Stewart, Associate of Science, General Education. Michaela Renee Tronson, Associate of Science, General Education, High Honors. Associate of Arts, General Education, High Honors. Tara J. Goss, Associate of Science, General Education, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Kelsey Collins, Certificate, General Studies, High Honors. The 2021 Health Sciences graduates include the Associate of Applied Science in Dental Hygiene, Health Information Technology, Paramedic, Physical Therapist Assistant, Respiratory Care, Surgical Technology, and the Associate of Science in Nursing for Registered Nurse. It also includes graduates in the Certificate of Applied Science in Dental Assistant, Health Information Coding Specialist, and Practical Nurse. Mariah Joy Jollings, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, High Honors. <laughs> Megan Casey, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, High Honors. <laughs> Nicole Elaine Clampett, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, Honors. <laughs> Charlia Dawn DeRoche, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Isabel Grace Hamper, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Catherine Joanne Hill, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, Honors. <laughs> Parker Hodges, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, High Honors. Ashley A. Lorraine, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, Honors, Associate of Arts, General Education, also Honors. <laughs> Tiffany Rose Maltby, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, High Honors. <laughs> Alicia R. Mudro, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, Honors. <laughs> Amber Joy Somara, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Kiana D. St. Goddard, Associate of Applied, of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Savannah Boyles, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Tabitha Ray Wolf, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Genesis Pamela Hankins, Associate of Applied Science, Health and Information Technology Honors, Certificate of Applied Science, Health Information Coding Specialist, also honors. <laughs> Alger W. Swingley, Associate of Applied Science, Paramedic. Rocky Lee Vance, Associate of Applied Science, Paramedic, honors. Taylor Danielle Becker, Associate of Applied Science, Physical Therapy Assistant, High Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Cynthia D. Burkhard, Associate of Applied Science, Physical Therapist Assistant. <laughs> Michaela D. Kappas, Associate of Applied Science, Physical Therapist Assistant. Elizabeth A. Gray, Associate of Applied Science, Physical Therapist, Assistant. <laughs> Janelle Johnson, Associate of Applied Science, Physical Therapist, Assistant. <laughs> Ian J. Morrison, Associate of Applied Science, Physical Therapist, Assistant, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa.
Brandon Tushka, Associate of Applied Science, Physical, Physical Therapist Assistant. Christopher J. Walraven, Associate of Applied Science, Physical Therapist Assistant, Associate of Science, General Education. Christopher Hale, Associate of Applied Science, Respiratory Care. Marley Holcomb, Associate of Applied Science, Respiratory Care. Courtney Knowles, Associate of Applied Science, Respiratory Care, Honors. Sydney Spielman, Associate of Applied Science, Respiratory Care. Haley Walker, Associate of Applied Science, Respiratory Care. Shanae Marie Wellard, Associate of Applied Science, Respiratory Care. Ashley Nicole Baker, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Odessa Billy, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Karami Jonna Eakins, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology, Honors. Sarah Harrell, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology, Honors. Jennifer Ray Kibbe, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology, Honors. Aaron Corey O'Neill, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Nicole Clara Satterwhite, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Jenna Elizabeth Smith, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology, High Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Amber Spees, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical, Te Surgical Technology, Associate of Science, General Education. <laughs> Kayla Sinan, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology, Honors. <laughs> Rachel Walcott, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Amber J. Benford, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. <laughs> Tiffany Brown, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. <laughs> Samantha Josephine Dahlberg, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. <laughs> Jackie Lynn Fisher, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse, Honors. David P. Gillespie, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. Amelia Claire Jasenbach, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse, Honors. Cheryl L. Kelly, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. Stephanie Lee Locke, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. Mackenzie R. Martin, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. Jonna May McEwen, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. Desiree Navarro, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. April J. Peppels, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. Giselle Porter, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. Jordan Nicole Schneider, Associate of Science in Nursing, Registered Nurse. Madison P. Fetters, a Certificate of Applied Science, 
Dental Assistant. Shannon Amanda Coomer, a Certificate of Applied Science, Dental Assistant. Haley Olivia Olson, Certificate of Applied Science, Dental Assistant. Elizabeth Christine Pierce, Certificate of Applied Science, Health Information Coding Specialist. Jacoba Alexandra Spurlock, Certificate of Applied Science, Health Information Coding Specialist, High Honors. Amina Devine Ziegler, Certificate of Applied Science, Health Information Coding Specialist. Jamie Lee Peterson, Certificate of Applied Science, Practical Nurse, Phi Theta Kappa. The 2021 trades graduates include the Associate of Applied Science in Welding Technology and Fabrication and Certificate of Applied Science in Industrial Technology and Welding Technology and Fabrication. It also includes graduates in the Certificate of Technical Studies in Welding and Fabrication, Tier 1 and Tier 3. Brian C. Calgar, Certificate of Applied Science, Welding Technology and Fabrication, High Honors. Certificate of Technical Studies, Welding and Fabrication, Tier 1, High Honors. Nat Beeler, Associate of Applied Science, Welding Technology and Fabrication, Certificate of Technical Studies, Welding and Fabrication, Tier 3. Jared Bratton, Associate of Applied Science, Welding Technology and Fabrication, Certificate of Technical Studies, Welding and Fabrication, Tier 3. Marcus D. Capti, Associate of Applied Science, Welding Technology and Fabrication, Phi Theta Kappa. Orion Daniel McKinney, Associate of Applied Science, Welding Technology and Fabrication, and Certificate of Technical Studies, Welding and Fabrication, Tier 3. Cody B. McNee, Associate of Applied Science, Welding Technology and Fabrication, Certificate of Applied Science, Welding Technology and Fabrication. Hold on, there's a lot of these. Certificate of Technical Studies, Welding and Fabrication, Tier 3. And Certificate of Technical Studies, Welding and Fabrication, Tier 1. Hunter Hoke, Certificate of Applied Science, Welding Technology and Fabrication. Certificate of Technical Studies, Welding and Fabrication, Tier 1. Gage Lee Simonek, Certificate of Applied Science, Welding Technology and Fabrication, Certificate of Technical Studies, Welding and Fabrication, Tier 1. Should I just leave my mask on? Wow, I think I used all my smiling muscles. So will the classes of 2020 and 2021 from Great Falls College MSU, MSU Billings and Park University please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in us by the Board of Regents in Higher Education of the State of Montana, we hereby confer upon each of you the degrees and certificates for which you have qualified. Graduates, you may now move your tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left. And remember the left because it's over your heart. Thank you for joining us today. Will the audience please join us in congratulating the new graduates.
Families and friends, please remain in your seats while the platform party, followed by faculty and graduates, leave the auditorium. You are welcome to visit the Great Falls College MSU campus at 2116th Avenue South. The campus will be open today until 5 p.m. Thank you in advance, Ian Morrison, a 2021 graduate in the Physical Therapist Assistant Program for providing our very special recessional music.
Blocks.